Righto, tell you dear champs, and today we're going to do the epic shootout on what is the best Ultrabook laptop going around. Of course, we have to compare Apple's M2 MacBook Air and Dell's XPS 13 Plus. Yeah, nah, don't get any better than that. So let's compare the two. I will also reference the MacBook Pro 13, the M2 version, because I've pretty much reviewed these laptops back to back to back. So which one is the best laptop? Well, let's find out. So when it comes to price between the two, oh, you better get out your checkbook because they're both expensive. They're all expensive. Um, Yeah, that's just how it is these days. I mean, if I was comparing the M1 MacBook Air to the XPS 13 Plus, then I'd say the MacBook Air was better value, but they're both expensive. And yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to the latest prices. I'll just chuck up the specs here. I will reference these specs later. We'll go through them step by step. Now, when it comes to build quality, both of them are the best build quality you're going to get in laptops, okay? Absolutely superb build quality on both of them. You know, we're talking premium, CNC machined. Even the MacBook Air is the entry level now, right? Top draw. However, when it comes to design, if you're just looking purely at the aesthetic, there is no doubt that the XPS 13 Plus looks more futuristic, I would say. Maybe you don't like that. I don't know. But it has like smaller bezels and it even has a webcam up there and it doesn't require a notch. But I will say one thing about the macbook air that thing is super thin and it just feels so nice in the hand because it's so thin they're both around the same sort of size and weight although the macbook air is thinner i don't think manufacturers are caught up to the 220 xps 13 this one is another step above that right the keyboard on the xps it looks like it's actually edged out of the keyboard there's no trackpad they've deleted the trackpad it just looks more modern but both of them top draw there they're both beautiful laptops so yeah let me know in the comments what you think looks better. I will say the MacBook Pro 13 does look a bit dated compared to these two laptops. When it comes to weight and thickness, well, the MacBook Pro is very thin, but the XPS feels more compact because it's, you know, got those smaller bezels. Both pretty much the same weight. So nothing to choose here between the two. For ports, well, they both just have Thunderbolt. But the one thing is the XPS has one on either side, which is, wow, that is just game changing because I don't like stuff on the left side, which the MacBook Pro has or the MacBook Air. So really both the same, but it is better to have one on either side, which you get with the XPS. When it comes to sound on these laptops, well, I've got to say, very surprised with the XPS 13 Plus. Really good sound. MacBook Pro, I reckon, does have the best sound. MacBook Air, awesome sound that would probably be second a little bit better than the xps 13 but i gotta say dell have done a really good job because this is one place where you know windows laptops are pretty much behind the max when it comes to you know speaker quality but now it's like i could see someone say the xps had better speakers it's that close now so yeah I still think the Macs have better sound quality, but yeah, it's very close. Keyboard and trackpad, wow. i got to say the Mac trackpad is still the best. Just the tracking, the button feel, it just, yeah, still the best. But have a look at Dell's trackpad. It's not there, right? It's been deleted and it's a simulated click now, like the Mac. The tracking's 99% as good as the Mac. Not quite as good. The click doesn't feel quite as good, but it's very close. And they can, you know, fix this with a firmware upgrade because it's not a mechanism anymore. It looks 100% cooler not having a trackpad on the, you know, the laptop or futuristic, etc. But I'd still give the Mac the better trackpad when it comes to keyboard. No complaints with any of the keyboards. I like the look at the XPS one. I like that it's edge to edge. I like that they're big flat keys. You might not like the capacitive touch keys on the XPS, but then again, on the MacBook Pro 13, do you like the touchpad? Yes, no. These things you'll either like or hate, but I do like with the XPS keyboard, you don't have smudgy, oily fingerprint marks. You do get those on the Macs. I can't choose a winner there. They're all good. When it comes to the displays, they both have cracking displays. The Mac has a 13.6 inch 16 by 10 500 nit led display with the xps you get a lot of choices you have full hd plus you have a 3k oled and you have the ultra hd plus so 4k plus now the displays if i'm talking about the premium displays on the xps the 4k plus and the 3k oled and of course the mac display all top quality right you're never going to complain about these displays with the oled display it's 400 nits on the xps 13 the 4k plus is 500 nits Y color gamuts on both of them on all the displays actually except for the entry level one on the xps but for 
me, once you see OLED and then you go back to LED, you're going to see the lack of contrast. The XPS is the winner here because it has like two display options. You also have a touch display as well. And the OLED is just amazing. Like it might be 400 nits versus 500 nits, but I can guarantee you now the OLED looks like it has more dynamic range just because it has inky blacks and it just looks more contrasty. It looks crisper, it pops, burning. I'm not worried about that. Maybe you are. I don't know. But they're all cracking displays, but I'm going to particularly pick out that OLED with the XPS is just I think that is the best one. Touch as well too. But they're all amazing there. When it comes to battery life, well, there's no comparison here. The MacBook Air like will get you 14 hours, just general web surfing, something like that. With the XPS, it's around eight hours. If you get the full HD Plus, you'll get over 10 hours. But with the 3K OLED that I had, you know, I'll get about eight sort of maximum there. With the Air or the MacBook Pro 13, the battery life is just super, like, you know, 14, 16 hours, even with the MacBook Pro. Without question, the battery life goes to the MacBook Air. When it comes to performance, all right, so I'm going to break it down very easily because they both have their strengths and weaknesses. They both have different hardware encoders that are you know aimed at different things so in reality if you just look at raw cpu performance without optimizations and you know apple being all in one silicon on a package compared to you know the different architecture that intel has if we just look at raw cpu performance the intel is faster so if you run cinebench multi-core it's faster it's faster in single core and then if you look at the gpu the mac is faster with the gpu quite a bit faster with the gpu actually you also get the benefits of better battery life with the mac as well so cpu Intel faster, GPU, Mac faster. And if you're going to game, say, for example, you know, Tomb Raider, it's like a good 10 frames per second faster on the Mac, right? So for performance, well, you know, it really depends on what you're doing. But one thing with the XPS, it does have Thunderbolt 4 with eGPU support. And I've made a video there. You can play any title on this. Of course, you can play all the AAA titles with the XPS 13 Plus, even with the discrete graphics. And then you add an eGPU and you can play anything, right? 4K gaming, any game, whatever you want, as long as you've got a fast enough eGPU. That's the advantage of, I guess, Windows and having like, you know, eGPU support with the XPS. So you can imagine that, you know, if you were into Blender or something like that, you could rock an XPS and then have desktop performance in Blender if you connect an eGPU, which is something you can't do with the Mac and gaming's not a Mac thing anyway. Upgradeability, well, there's none on the Mac. With the XPS, you can upgrade the SSD, so that's one good thing. I will say for connectivity, the XPS 13 is better. You get Wi-Fi 6E, faster Wi-Fi 2, like a lot faster. The Mac Wi-Fi is very slow. It's not going to matter for web surfing or downloading. It's when you transfer files or something like that, big files. I think the Mac Wi-Fi is in sort of like a low-powered mode all the time. And I guess that's why it gets better battery life too. But um, yeah, the Wi-Fi and connectivity. And you get a later Bluetooth version with the XPS as well. So yeah, that is something to consider. You also get a bigger charger with the XPS 13. So you get the 65 watt or no, sorry, 60 watt charger. With the Mac, you do get the smaller charger. With the MacBook Pro 13, you do get the big one as well. So in conclusion, which one is the best? I don't know. How long is a piece of string? What do you do? What do you want? Do you want the all day battery life of the Mac? Do you rock Mac OS? Use Final Cut for optimizations with the Apple Silicon or something like that. Maybe you go to Mac, right? Do you like the expandability of the XPS 13, the futuristic design? Good enough battery life to get you through most of the day and it has good CPU performance. Again, with the expandability of the eGPU to get as much GPU performance as you want. It really is going to come down to you. If it was my one and only laptop, I'll go to the XPS 13 because then I can expand it with the eGPU. If I have a gaming desktop, well, I'll probably go to MacBook Pro. So yeah, let me know which way you would go. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.